This is Dr. Joseph Mango. He was the chief provider of the gas chambers and he was also known as the angel of death. He performed experiment on twins. He carried out twin to twin transfusions, stitched twins together, castrated or sterilized twins, and organ limb removal. One block was infested with lice. He solved the problem by gassing all the 750 women assigned to it. He also injected chemicals into children in an attempt to change their eye color. This is Dr. Herda Oberhauser. She killed children with oil and evapan injections. She then removed their limbs and vital organs. The time from the injection to death was between three to five minutes with the person being fully conscious until the last moment. During the Holocaust, she made some of the most gruesome and painful medical experiments. In order to stimulate combat wounds of German soldiers fighting in the war, Oberhauser rubbed foreign objects such as wood, rusty nails, silver, glass, dirt, or sawdust into their wounds. This is Dr. Karl Klauberg. He injected chemical substances into wounds of thousands of Jewish and Gypsy women. They were sterilized by the injections, producing horrible pain, inflamed ovaries, bursting spasms in the stomach, and bleeding. Men and women were positioned repeatedly for several minutes between two x-ray machines aimed at their sexual organs. Most subjects died or were gassed immediately because of the radiation burns from which they suffered rendered them unfit for work. Men's testicles were removed and sent to Breslau for histopathological examination. This is Dr. Carl Brandt. He was Hitler's personal physician and he was appointed Rec Commissioner for Sanitation and Health. He was authorized to issue instruction to the medical organizations of the government to the party and the armed forces in the field of health. He participated in, in the euthanasia program which involved the systematic execution of the aged, insane, incurably ill, or deformed children by gas or lethal injections in nursing home, hospitals, and asylums. There was no informed consent when it came to the Nazi doctors. Clients' rights to all pertinent information about a treatment and the granting permission for a treatment based on the knowledge. Patients did not know what was going to happen to them. They were there by force because of Hitler and the German army and the Nazis. No one in the concentration camps had human rights, which is also unethical. The doctors didn't use the code of ethics. They didn't use autonomy, justice, or beneficence. Autonomy and justice is the normative values of autonomy and justice support the rights of person to control the circumstances in which their identical health data are acquired, used, disclosed, or stored. Beneficence is when researchers should have the welfare of the research participating as a goal of the study. The researchers didn't care what happened to their patients. They just killed them at the end. Clearly disobeying the three main rules of code of ethics. <laughs>